good morning everyone so in the last class we had studied about how to draw the graph if the coordinates are already given so in today's class we will be doing the opposite of that so we will be finding the coordinates if the graph of the particular point is already given so we will be doing the reverse of that so in today's class there a, a graph will be given already so we have to just find what are the coordinates of the points of the graph so let us move on to the finding coordinates in the finding coordinates if the graph is already given okay now we have a graph here so they have already plotted it and they have named it the point as a b c and d so now we need to find what are the coordinates of point a b c and d so now first consider point a okay point a so just see at what point of the x axis it touches so the point a touches the x axis at 6 so the x coordinate becomes plus 6 and now at what point point a touches the y axis it touches it at plus 2 so its y coordinate is 2 so the coordinates of a are 6 comma 2 so it means the distance of x coordinate is nothing but the distance from the y axis that is the distance from the y axis is 6 and the distance from the x axis is 2 so the x coordinate is 6 and the y coordinate is 2 so how did we find it out so we took point a and we just saw point a where it touches the x axis it touched the x axis at point 6 so the x coordinate is point 6 is 6 and point a touches the y axis as plus 2 so the y coordinate is 2 so therefore the coordinates of a are 6 comma 2 similarly we will find for point b so again for point b so it touches the x axis at minus 5 so the x x so the x coordinate is minus 5 and the point b touches the y axis at plus 2 so the y coordinate will become plus 2 therefore the coordinates of point b are minus 5 comma 2 now coming to point c so again it touches the x axis at plus 2 and it touches the y axis at minus 4 so the coordinates of point c are 2 comma minus 4 now similarly for point d so it touches the x axis at plus 5 and it touches the y axis at minus 5 so the coordinates of point d are 5 comma minus 5 so this is how you find out the coordinates of given points if their graph is already given so we have to just find its distance where it touches the x axis is the x coordinate and where it touches the y axis is the y coordinate for point a point a touches the x axis at point at 6 and point a touches the y axis at 2 therefore the coordinates of a is equals to 6 comma 2 similarly for point point b that is it touches the x axis at minus 5 and it touches the y axis at plus 2 and hence the coordinates of point b are minus 5 comma 2 and similarly for point c it touches the x axis at 2 and touches the y axis at minus 4 therefore the coordinates of point c are 2 comma minus 4 and similarly for point d so this is how you find the coordinates if the graph is already given so now we will move on to the last part that is we to find out in which quadrant does the given coordinate lies in so we will move on to the next part so the last part of this chapter is to find out in which quadrant does the coordinates lies in so the question is something like this so in which quadrants does each of the points minus 2 comma 4 3 comma minus 1 minus 1 comma 0 1 comma 2 and minus 3 comma minus 5 lie verify your answer by locating them on the cartesian plane so you know that this is the cartesian plane so it consists of two number lines y y dash and x x dash 
right so the horizontal line is called as the x axis or it is also called as the abscissa and y axis is also called as the ordinate so it is divided into four quadrants right first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and the fourth quadrant so and we also know what are the signs of these quadrants right so in the first quadrant the signs are positive comma positive and in the second quadrant the signs are negative comma positive and for the third quadrant it is negative comma negative and for the fourth quadrant it is positive comma negative so now we have to check what in in which of these quadrants these points will lie so for example now we will take it for minus 2 comma 4 minus 2 comma plus 4 minus 2 comma 4 okay so instead of writing minus 2 comma 4 i will write it as minus 2 comma plus 4 so your plus 4 is also 1 plus 4 is also right and uh, only 4 is also right so it has the symbol 4 now okay minus 2 comma 4 this is plus hmm. now in which of these quadrants does minus and plus sign contains so it contains in the second quadrant so this particular point will lie in the second quadrant right so minus 2 and plus 4 minus and plus signs are present in the second quadrant hence minus 2 comma 4 lies on in the second quadrant now similarly for 3 comma minus 1 3 comma minus 1 instead of 3 comma minus 1 i'll write it as plus 3 comma minus 1 so plus and minus so plus and minus in which quadrants are there in fourth quadrant we have plus and minus so this must lie in the fourth quadrant and similarly for minus 1 comma 0 minus 1 comma 0 so this can't be 0 is neutral so it doesn't have any sign so minus and uh, consider it as positive now minus 1 comma 0 plus 0 minus and plus so minus and plus it lies on the second quadrant hence this also becomes second quadrant so if there is no sign we will consider it as positive next 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 it is nothing but plus 1 comma plus 2 so in which quadrant we have both signs as positive in the first quadrant so it lies in the first quadrant next 1 comma 2 is over now minus 3 comma minus 5 minus 3 comma minus 5 so both are negative in which quadrant both are negative third quadrant so this must lie in the third quadrant so the question is not over yet so verify your answer by locating them on the cartesian plane okay so now get ready with your graphs okay now i have a graph here i already plotted the x and y axis and also i have written the most important thing that is writing scale x axis is equals to one unit equal to one centimeter and y axis is equal to 1 unit equal to 1 centimeter okay now we will plot the points and verify whether in which quadrant we have written it is correct or not so we will plot first minus 2 comma 4 so how do we plot that first we will take minus 2 on the negative x axis and since it has plus 4 so we will go 4 steps above 1 2 3 4 so this point is minus 2 comma 4 so it lies in the second quadrant so we will name this quadrant first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant so if you want you can write the signs of those quadrants as well so we had got it lies in the second quadrant and we have verified it by plotting it on the cartesian plane so it lies on the second quadrant similarly for 3 comma minus 1 how do you plot that 3 on the x-axis minus 1 so we have to go on the below side so this point is 3 comma minus 1 so it lies in the fourth quadrant and we had also got it as fourth quadrant verified next minus 1 comma 0 so minus 1 and since the y coordinate 0 it lies on the negative x-axis so this point is 
minus 1 comma 0 and we got it on the second quadrant second quadrant right verified next 1 comma 2 so 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 so it we got it in the first quadrant and hence also got it in the first quadrant so hence verified next minus 3 comma minus 5 so minus 3 and 5 steps below since it is minus 5 1 2 3 4 5 so this particular point is minus 3 comma minus 5 so we got it in the third quadrant and hence we also theoretically we got it on the third quadrant hence we verify that it all the points lie on these particular quadrants so this is how you proceed with the problems related to locate locating of the points on the particular quadrants so this concludes your chapter coordinate geometry so in this chapter we studied about what are what do you mean by coordinate geometry and some basic concepts related to the coordinate geometry that is the cartesian system after that we studied what do you mean by origin what do you mean by x coordinate what do you mean by y coordinate and what do what is the another name for x axis which is nothing but abscissa and for the y axis it is ordinate and after that we studied how to plot the points if the coordinates are given and in today's class we studied about if the graph is already given how to find the particular coordinates and also how to locate points on the particular quadrants so if you have any queries about this you can contact me and in the next class we will be starting with the new chapter so complete all the exercises related to the chapter coordinate geometry and if you have any queries you can ask me thank you